Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to A Legend of Zelda The Link Between Worlds. So, in the last part, we actually managed to finish off um, Ice Ruins. I almost said Ice Palace. Almost. In this part, we're actually headed over to. We have one portal that we know exists, and it's right up here. So, we have to go get that portal and make our way to the last dungeon to save the final sage. And just follow this wall all the way here. Since I forgot, you have to be on this side to get it. Excuse me. Hello, random bee. Let's do this. I love that we got the bee uh, metal. It's going to save us a little bit of time. We never have to actually worry about these bees, and they actually help us as long as they're out. But Welcome everyone to the Turtle Rock area. Yes. Biggest weakness here, we don't have a way of attacking while on the water. However, let's talk to this turtle. Thank you so so much, but there are still two of my babies out there. Well, if you talk to them early enough, they will mention um, they are looking for three of their kids to get, and then they will help us get into Turtle Rock because we cannot swim there, and there is a lot of lava in Turtle Rock. It's an unfortunate part. So if we kill off these Zoras that seem to be attacking, which I, I guess I'll still call them Zoras because they they really are. We can free turtle number two. Thank you, thank you. It was terrifying. Didn't know what I was going to do. And look at There's already one heart piece. We will be collecting that mid-dungeon because, I mean, we're already there. There's no reason to not. And here's their fairy fountain. So all that's really remaining is there's one turtle. We don't know where it is. So... Take a look around a bit upstream, see if that'll help. I honestly, I do not remember where the last turtle is. Uh, I figured upstream was a likely place. Uh, worst case, it might even be in that area, just on like one of the walls. Yeah, I don't see it up here. Let's apparently not walk our, on, on walls that way. So it's got to be in the main area. Let's head up to the second tier of the main area and take a look around. Full heal and ooh, look, an item. Nope, this is this is a dead end. I don't want to go that way. Sorry. There you are. I was gonna say I'm like, I know it's around here somewhere. I've been too distracted looking on the map trying to see if I could see anything that would tell me. I'm surprised there is just, there's not even a, a chance on my on my cave on this one. So, oh no, it's blocked, except because of this little patch of green here, you can actually sneak past here and push him off the wall. The wall was sticky, it wouldn't let me go. But that saves all three of the turtles, allowing them to make a turtle tower. And they will give us a ride. Which... I mean, is exactly what we need, so I have no reason to complain. Now we just gotta track them down. Oops. Yeah, little downside, hard to judge exactly where you're standing on it. But they will swim us around until we get to where we're going. They can bring us to a few places, I think. One of which was that treasure chest we saw earlier. But the important one is... Excuse me, guys. Can you go that way? The dungeon. 
So we'll head there and finally tag this. Now we can get back to it whenever we need to. We don't need to save, and the item we will need for this dungeon is in fact the ice rod. We can freeze magma that way. So welcome to Turtle Rock. gimmick of this one is, you can freeze these seesaws, I guess is what they are. And that's, that's about it. So, first things first, we're going into every room we can. We can actually hurt these guys. Or well, we're supposed to be able to. We're just going to keep attacking until it dies. And one more. Safe for good measure. Can I just chuck like a bomb up there or something? Yes, okay. And that'll unlock us a treasure chest, which looks like we need to take this platform to get. So, important for later, not so necessary now. Freeze this raw path as is, and we can head up and continue in the dungeon. So the important part, oh, that one did not bring us there. But by, um, what is it? I guess freezing all three of those lava pillars, we can actually escape out this way. Which is the fairy fountain, unfortunately not the one I was expecting. And still rather annoying to get back from. And, yeah. You see what I mean by rather annoying to get back from? Yep, fine. Where did these two hop out? Done. All three are done, and as long as we can get off in time. We got some fairies at the cost of about everything the fairies healed up. But we can go down and kill those guys. Nothing else in this area. Let's take this teleport. Is that going? It is. Back to this item. Purple Ruby. Not that helpful. But we, we've recently seen exactly what to do here. Freeze this, and we'll run back across. Alright, we can see there's actually a key right there we should have went and got earlier. So, fortunately, take that path back, and let's go grab our key. And we've already seen in this one there wasn't really anything of note. Except for apparently some enemies. Not too big a deal. path up here, which apparently gives, makes me want to fight a fire and ice team, I guess.
Perfect. Just leaving with the fire one, which, since we can summon our our ice rod so high, we can make without too much worries. And we are now in the basement. You can see there is probably the key. There is some other thing. But we're going to want to actually take out as many as possible of these guys. Because look at that. One down, opened up that path. The next down, opened up this one. There should be four of them, I believe. One bomb seems to be able to kill him just fine. I'm gonna lower that this for right now. I actually do not want that bomb anywhere near me. I thought. Alright, all four of them go up, and that actually causes the middle thing to raise, giving us one more platform. Merge with this wall, get a lot of health. A nice little rest point, should you not have the stamina scroll that we got last round. And... We can get this purple rupee right off the bat. Drop the bomb right here. It'll lift us up. Step out from here, and it'll actually give us a path across to that um, new item, which will give us both the dungeon items. The big key called it right for what's in here, as well as what are you giving us, in Turtle Rock? We've already got bridge all our master or in that. The Hillian Shield. Our shield has finally been upgraded. It's one thing I didn't really ever consider in this journey that, hey, we haven't done this yet. It was weird that that never came to mind when I ran into this the first time I played through. It was like, oh, yeah, I guess I guess we probably should be upgrading our shield as well at some point. So I was surprised when I saw the Hillian shield be something that uh, was given to us. It makes sense. We need the Hillian shield to be in... Um, Tip top condition. And we'll create a bomb, allow us to drop back down. And we'll want to head over here because there's one other thing we can now do. We can make a pathway across over here doesn't do too much, but it is helpful for later. Bye. Freeze it so we can drop them on the top. And oh no, we need a key for that one. Unfortunately because, yeah, we can't attack that I guess the bow makes it very difficult for us to get anywhere on the other side of it. Oh! There's 300 rupees hidden under that power. That I didn't know. Wait, did you just trap me here, game? Uh, I, I guess I have a chance of leaving if I go this way. There, alright. Yeah, all that's left is here and we do not have a way to get up to it, so... We will go back up to the second floor and see what we can do from there. Uh, it's weird that I didn't actually have enough keys. Am I missing some that I just didn't think of prior? Or did I just miss some rooms? Because it looks like I didn't go into either of the feet. Despite 
yeah, they, there's a room right here. And I just ignored it. Oh, it's the boss room. Wow. This is awkward. Not quite an instant kill like it was with the um, fire rod on the ice statute, but you cool them down and they die in either two ice hits or an ice and a regular hit. You know, provided I actually hit them. And we've gotten ourselves our teleport point, so if we need to get back to the first floor, we can always do there. However, I want to go over to this side. And get our key. We didn't get the compass yet, so we haven't gotten our usual advantage. Uh, where we just happen to know where all of the keys and things are. So, let us resume our path back to the bottom. Uh, we know there is a key door there. I don't think that second one really needed to be a seesaw, all things considered. Thank you so much, Pillar. Pillar of Lava, you are the best. Stepping on this button gives us a pathway across and allows us to really continue in the dungeon. I'm glad they, didn't at least, they at least didn't make that like a separate room. Did I fall? Is that what just happened there? At the very end, I fell? Ugh. There's a section I've missed in this part. Now I guess... Oh wait! No, nope, I still can't make it thanks to this piece. I say maybe I can try for that. Let's head back up to the first floor. And we'll give it another shot. Oh yeah, this one uh, did not go very well. See you guys? Well, I guess it's, it's going fine. But this part went a little long is what I meant. See you guys next time.